The flop shot on the golf course is like the Hollywood shot, isn't it? It's the most exciting, it's the one that's got the most risk and the most danger, and it's this shot that goes high up in the air and it's a high tariff, high risk shot. And when it lands, it should come down with snow on it and stop right next to the flag. But the danger with playing that shot, of course, is that the extra power that I'm using to hit that shot, if I get that shot wrong, it could knife off to the other side of the green. And we've probably all experienced that time when we've tried to play that shot. I'm going to play this slightly to the side because I've got another fellow golfer in the bunker over there. But if I made this long swing and then knife the ball, then it does that. And that's the risk and reward element of this shot. So it's a shot that we need to play at the right time in the right place when the golf course is asking the relevant question. And if the golf course is not asking the relevant question, leave the lob wedge in the bag. It's a risky club to play if you play it incorrectly. If I had this shot for real on the golf course from here to here to this pin, it wouldn't be a lob wedge shot for me. It would be a nine iron or an eight iron and it would be a, a chip and run. But let's picture a scenario on the golf course where you've short sided yourself. So you're on the short side of the green, big bunker and not much green to work with. So we have to get the ball up and down quickly. Think of a scenario where you might have the ball in your hand and you think, well, how would I throw it to that pin? If I had this situation, I'd just land it on the floor and roll it gently. But if there was a big bunker in front of me, I might have to throw it higher so when it comes down, it lands and it stops. That's when I would take my flop shot approach. And to be able to hit this flop shot successfully, I take my lob wedge and I angle the club with even more loft. So here the club face points at the vertical at 12 o'clock. I'm going to tilt it back now so it points at one o'clock and then at one o'clock I make my grip. Now it's important that I don't hold it vertically and then just twist it because now my grip will probably revert back over. So I twist it open, grab hold of it, then bring it down behind the ball. From behind the ball here it's got loads of loft but it's also pointing slightly to the right of my intended target. I can then move my feet around so it then points straight. So the ball is going to go to the right at the moment but if I shuffle my feet back now the ball is going to go straight. So it's an open club face with an open stance. The next consideration is I'm going to play the ball slightly more forwards in my stance. You can see it's ahead of centre here. If I have the ball back in my stance, chances are I'm just going to close the club face back again and the club face will have less loft when I hit it. The ball won't go as high as it should do for the flop shot. So I play the ball slightly ahead of centre with an open club face, a little bit of a wider stance and slightly lower hands. Lower hands here just encourage me to use the bounce of the club correctly and use plenty of wrist hinge. I can then swing it back and through the same distance. And the important thing here is I get through the ball. I don't want to be caught on my back leg, leaning back and trying to flick it up into the sky. The club, particularly with the open face, has plenty of loft. So I can turn through to a nice successful finish rather than leaning back and flicking at it, which won't work for me. Another key element to this is go and practice it. Don't get to the golf course, think you're Phil Mickelson and you can play this shot unless you've practiced it. As we described here, it's high risk. It needs plenty of practice so you can take it out on the golf course and use it successfully. If you're not confident with it, keep the ball on the ground, roll it across the floor, it's always safer. But when you've got this shot dialed in, it's the real Hollywood shot and it will really improve your golf scores.